welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. Um, I have been really looking forward to making this video for a long time already. It's been very high on my list of videos for this season. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I will apologize for all the tea lovers out there that these are mostly coffee recipes. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, I'm just such a major coffee lover and so it would be weird if I would do anything else. But I do have one um, apple cider recipe so you can enjoy that. I love all of these recipes so much and so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them. So anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first we have an iced apple crisp macchiato. Um, you're gonna start by making a spiced apple drizzle and you're just gonna put a cup of diced apples into your pot and add half a tablespoon of lemon juice and just stir that all up. Um, you can let it slowly heat up. Um, and then in a separate bowl, you're gonna put an eighth cup of brown sugar Add half a tablespoon of cornstarch and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon. Then you just want to mix that all up and add it to your apples and then just let them continue cooking. Next you want to heat up about a cup of apple juice um, and I just did this on my stovetop because I don't have a microwave but you can do it in your microwave whatever and then just add it to the apple mixture and let that cook until it thickens um, about one to three minutes and yeah. After that, you're just gonna let it cool off, and then once it cools, strain the apples off, and you have a beautiful spiced apple drizzle. Next, we're going to make an apple brown sugar syrup and all you need for this is a cup of brown sugar and a cup of apple juice and you just stir that and let it boil for two minutes. Then for the assembly part, you're gonna take one and a half tablespoons of the apple brown sugar syrup that we just made, add about a cup and a half of milk, and then you wanna add one cup of ice. Um, next you brew a double espresso shot and then you just want to go ahead and add that slowly on top of your milk. And lastly you just drizzle it with some spiced apple drizzle and there you have a Starbucks copycat iced apple crisp macchiato. And what would a fall drinks recipe video be without a pumpkin spice latte? I just added a half a tablespoon of my pumpkin pie syrup to my cup and then I brewed a single espresso and then just add that to my cup as well. Next, I just added another half tablespoon of pumpkin pie syrup to my little frothing pitcher and then just add probably about half a cup of milk and then you just froth that all together. Um, and you can use pumpkin puree and a sweetener of your choice um, instead of the pumpkin pie syrup, but this is just what I prefer. Anyways, you just um, dump the frothed milk on top and then I just like to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon or um, pumpkin pie spice on top and there you have pumpkin spice latte.
Next, we have an all-time favorite of mine, hot apple cider. Um, these are the ingredients you'll need. You need two cups of apple juice, um, and then you're just gonna add about half a teaspoon of cinnamon um, and half a teaspoon of cloves, as well as about an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg and you just stir it all up. And then um, just slice up an orange and just add the slices to your pot and then simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. And that's it. And it tastes like legit apple cider. Super, super good. This next one is one of my favorites as well. Um, you're just gonna add some ice to your cup um, and then add your cold brew. I actually just use normally brewed coffee, just cooled off. It tastes pretty much the same to me. Um, and then you just add about half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie syrup. Next, you're gonna add another half tablespoon of pumpkin pie syrup to your frothing pitcher. And add about a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of half and half cream. And then just go ahead and froth it all up. And then all that's left to do is just slowly pour it over your cold brew. And there you have a pumpkin cream cold brew. And last but not least, we've got a maple cinnamon latte. Um, I just started with adding about a tablespoon of maple syrup to my cup. And then I just added about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla as well as a pinch of cinnamon. Next, you just want to brew an espresso and add that to your cup as well. Then we've got our little frothing pitcher here again, and you just want to add half a cup of milk to it and you just steam it all up um, and then add it to your espresso shot. Then I just sprinkled some cinnamon on top of that yet, and there you got your maple cinnamon latte. And that is it for my fall coffee recipes, or cozy drink recipes, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I worked super hard on it and I'm just excited for you guys to see it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you try any of these recipes. Um, I will have the exact recipes in the description. Some of them are not my recipes, so I'm just gonna put the link, like the Pinterest link, in my description and then the ones that are my recipes I will just write them out in the description for you guys so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next Monday Bye.